in this problem, we're calculating the intensity in watts per square meter and the intensity in dB from a speaker with a given power. And so let's start off with the power we're given. You were probably given something that's um, like 100 milliwatts, 200 milliwatts. Well, let's say 200 milliwatts. Well, 200 milliwatts, you have to divide by 1,000 to get to watts is 0.2 watts. And now we want the intensity in watts per square meter as a function of distance all the way from one meter out to 100 meters. So I already have in place for you the distance. And now we just need to do the calculation. So what is it? It's, it's the power, right? The power divided by what? Four thirds times pi times the distance in meters squared. OK, now this part, so 47 milliwatts per square meter, I'm going to drag this down and fill in. But I need to keep this value D4 constant because that's the power. All right, and so now I have this formula that I can just simply repeat and I can drag it down and see and it fills in. There we go, all the way down to 100. Now we have the intensity in watts per square meter all the way out to 100 meters. And um, we're supposed to graph this, right? So distance in meters, intensity in watts per square meter. I'm just going to choose a um, XY plot, insert XY, there we go, All right? Intensity in watts per square meter out to 100 meters. You can see it drops off pretty quickly here. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, and we're going to do it in decibels. Well, we have the intensity, and so the formula for decibels is just 120 plus 10 times the log of the intensity. So now we have that, and I'm going to drag this down. Okay, pull this up where we can see it here. Easy way in Excel to pull um, charts where you want them is to cut them and then paste them back in. All right. Now we need distance with intensity in dB. So it's the same thing. I'm going to insert a scatter plot. And here we go. Cut. Bring it back up. Now, we have these two different plots. We have them on two different scales. Right? And you can see the difference in the scales here, intensity in watts per square meter versus distance. I'm going to do something here that I want you to do in yours. I'm going to go to this, this uh, distance down here and hit Format Axis. And I'm going to have it do as a, a log scale. log scale. And now if you look on the log scale, it's just a straight line. Why? Because the um, distance is 1 over r squared. When you do the log, it simply becomes a straight line. All right? So play around with that, but then put it back to um, regular scale. OK. Now over here, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to take this axis and I'm going to make it a log scale. All right now it looks kind of a lot like that one, a lot more like that one. I'm going to take it back. Okay, so these are the two graphs I'm looking for you to um, create. All right, so 60 decibels that is well above normal talking, talking level. So you know, and up here, 100 and, 110, 106 decibels, that's really loud, right? I mean, it, 
That's too loud for me. Probably too loud for most people. All right. That's it for this problem. You're going to be playing around in Excel, learning some things about Excel. And, you know, the way you do this is set it up so that if you have to come back and do this again, and now you have a new value of, say, 350 watt, milliwatts, 350, you just plug it in, and the graphs and everything take care of themselves. There you go. That's it. Have fun playing with this.